thing. Off so smash is also smash. a thing, yeah. <laughs> I think every character has an up smash. Could be wrong. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Okay, so trade for trade. About six minutes on the clock. We're playing a Smash 4 game, basically. Basically. Yeah. Aim being a little bit more patient, a little bit more hesitant to throw out hitboxes, it looks like. Just wait for Sweet Tea to approach and, and, and try and, like, just just threaten his space, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is one of those things, though, where Pichu, as soon as he gets the opening, then he's guaranteed a lot of damage and probably ledge control, too. Oh, yeah. And AIM has been doing, like, the the war of attrition. It's not quite working out, but all of oh, a sudden... Do it. Yeah, that'll yeah. do it. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, that up air is actually extremely powerful now. <laughs> if, he, if he can get it at all. Mm -hmm. Just be thankful it wasn't combo... Like, it was, like nothing combos in up air. Like, it's, it's always just, like, almost there, basically. Right. Like, that's that was really good. Mm -hmm. Good anti-air there with, with, with the bomb as well. Right. Okay, I like that. L good uh, frame trap there with the directional air dodge into an up smash. Yeah, as long as he's getting the stray damage and then he can get like some kind of kill on Pichu, then all of a sudden, yeah, that'll work out for him. Oof. Almost. Yeah. Right idea, miss spacing a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, making it really difficult for Pichu to try and approach with something, but up tilt in the back air, yes. Put him off stage one more time. Ooh. Trying to get something off stage, but unfortunately, that oh, that's confirmed right there. Yeah, very nice stuff. If you're able to get that, that last hit of the of the uh, of the fire on the ground there, you, you can actually confirm that to neutral mm -hmm. B. Yeah, and the Super confidence good. from Aim to just come like just go for it. Like mm -hmm. he knew he's like he's exactly in the right position for it. So nice stuff from Aim so far. He made me. I, I was doubting the me gunner, and then he said. Okay. Nope. Fine. D doubt it. <laughs> I'll show you what happens <laughs> when you doubt it. I see how it is. Yeah. Well, cool. Sweet Tea actually stuck at the Peach after that one. Break. No, he's not. Going to the Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how this one goes down. But can Squirrel do it, though, is the real question. Yeah, that <laughs> is the real question. Let's see. So far, the squirrel hasn't been hit, and the withdraw has been doing a good job of keeping away from the projectiles. So, I know so much damage the Mies do in this game. Like, mm -hmm. like Swordfire, I, I know Swordfire was like tornado into up air. Did like just those two hits? It's like thirty three percent. Like, like Amir's back air did like sixteen there, and like fourth of the sixteen right there as well. Yeah, like it's Mies have Mies are a good rack of damage. Just like just aim straight hit they can get, but like mm -hmm. they're good. Yeah. You don't have to be slept on this game, really. Yeah. Oh, try to catch him going down from the ledge. I like the idea. I He's trying to make the read, the read. yeah. Ooh. Okay. The sweet Tea's still able to make it back. Has to reposition himself, and now he finally has the position to like start throwing out razor leaves. That's what Ivysaur is when he has the best position, is when he has the right the distance to throw out razor leaf. But yeah, it looks like those projectiles are just straight beating out the Razor Leaf, though, so it might be a little bit difficult for Sweet Tea to make this come back around. If I ever learned anything from playing against, like, Samus's or against Amir's Mean Gunner, it's really that if anyone's if trying to throw a projectile against, 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 like, <laughs> against like a Samus or a Mean Gunner, and they, like, the neutral people will just eat through it pretty much every single time. That's a lot of priority, and, like, it, it's just really hard to, like, get past it. Mm -hmm. if you, you gotta be careful if you're trying to, if you're spamming, like, moves like that. Right. In this case, Ivysaur's Razor Leaf will get stuffed by by Amer's Anutra B every single time. Mm -hmm. If he used it correctly, of course. <laughs> That's right, almost taking that, though. Yeah, even on a character like Charizard, but I like what he's doing. He's sticking with a Charizard so he can keep up survivability. I think the mine actually messed him up there, because mm -hmm. Downtown would have killed normally, but the mine knocked him to the right. Mm -hmm. Just ruined the kill in this case. Right. 246, though, currently on, on Sweet T's Charizard. Yep. I mean, that's a really big victory, actually, the, to be able to keep up a lead like that. Just mm -hmm. because Charizard is hard to kill from the weight. 257. Yeah. I mean, this is the highest I've seen a character in a while. Same. Yeah. I've never seen a character live as much. 271 now, finally. Yeah, it's like, okay, if, so if this doesn't kill, then there's like a problem. Like, come yeah. on. Like, 271, <laughs> I know it's Charizard, but still. All because of the mind messing up the downs earlier. That's yeah. a big shame there for me, Mayor. Hopefully it doesn't tell him too much, though. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, charge with her 29% immediately off that. Yep, alright, yeah. <laughs> 10 raised leaves in the row. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the... Welcome the, to Ivysaur neutral. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, why wouldn't you? That's such a strong move from Ivysaur. Fourth throw. I've... Mm -hmm. Oh, I won't lie. I've oh. never seen that. <laughs> oh. Everyone always uses a uh, down throw into, like, Vine Whip or something. Yeah, like, right there. Won't do anything in that percent, though. Mm hmm Back throw is Ives... Oh, very nice snipe there. Back, yeah. back throw is Ivysaur's kill throw. Up throw doesn't really do much. <laughs> so, fourth throw is probably just best, best in that situation. Yeah. That fourth smash have enough range to take out... To actually hit Squirrel, though, after his withdrawal. That's... And even after the... Dodge. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, most of the time, withdraw is hard to punish after sh it hits shield just because, like, they bounce off and they can do anything after it. But at least the force smash has enough, covers enough space so you can do it immediately. But right now, the Pokemon trainer is doing much better against the, the Me Gunner right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they're six to Me Gunner after this game, too. Just narrowly avoid that Flurry Blitz. I thought I was it. Mm hmm. Oh, getting the charge and up smash was just barely not being able to take out Charizard. Yep. Charizard, <laughs> very heavy dragon, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Or fi Firefly, not dragon, but you yeah. Yeah, not a dragon type. <laughs> just don't get confused. Mm -hmm. Sorry for confusing you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's so hard to actually get the. Oh, wow, the four tilt? I'll do it. Okay. Huh. Alrighty. I never seen that move do that much knockback. Mm hmm. Guess We're 1 1 here. Maybe? I know, like, Mewtwo's tail got buffed, so I guess all tails across the board got buffed. Just conclusion. <laughs> right. Wow, this is, uh, interesting stuff. Hmm. Let's go Castle Siege. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he's going to a, a Battlefield stage, though. I'm saying you're Battlefield Mario Bros. Mm-hmm. Which song, though? Yeah. I'm judging. What do you oh, think? Oh, Steam Gardens from Mario Odyssey. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. That song's a banger. You're going to mm. love it. <laughs> Back You're gonna love trainer. it, person in chat. You've probably never played Mario Odyssey. Play that game. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we are here going with the Me Sword Fighter this time. The original pick that I thought. Well, let's see how this goes down. I guess we we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. I love those songs in Smash. It's <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite parts of Mario Odyssey, especially. Mm -hmm. But just getting, getting to uh, Wooded Kingdom and just hearing this song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Oh, mm. that, would, that actually would have been something if he actually got the kill off that. Yeah, I forgot that Amir does not have the uh, the, the link up B because usually most Mew Sword Fighters had that, but he actually has the other one. Which, so we're yeah, gonna, we're it's like it's like the case. ether basically. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like I'm so used to the, to the hero, hero spin. I'm just like, whoa, whoa, Me Gunner has other uppies. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Not able to set up into anything though, but withdraw, yeah. If it runs into hitboxes, it will slow down. So. Very nice stuff with the chalk there, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had the right idea. The chalk was out, but he just went right over it. So, not quite going to be able to get a punish off that. Ooh, Squirrel Smash attacks very rarely seen. Is usually switch to Ivysaur or Charizard for that sort of thing. Yep. Oh. They got a lot on that bag though. So mm -hmm. is that Razor Leaf off stage. Yeah. That's a really tricky move to like get hit by off stage because they can send you either outwards or into the stage like that. Right. And it's multi hit, which is just hard attack. Mm -hmm. Just simply enough. Yeah, it's like when is it going to end, you know? <laughs> oh! Almost! Yeah, still not quite enough. That last hit actually has a longer knockback than I expected. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, you're going to be able to get that kill there. Going back to the Squirtle for the potential combo game. You can do it, Squirtle. <laughs> yeah, it looks like so far Squirtle's doing it right now. Already has a ledge control. Trying to figure out how to play the neutral. Suffering stuff with Chalk him again. Yeah. Get that 34% off of, of two hits. I expect That's a crazy. switch to uh, Ivysaur very soon. Mm -hmm. like, Wait, actually, he's committing to it. I'm, wow. Okay. I like it. I respect it, really. <laughs> Squirrel does have a back throw kill. I, every, actually, every single one of Pokemon Trainer's Pokemon has a back throw kill throw, right. <laughs> funnily enough. Maybe that was a the thing they wanted universally. It's like, okay, at least all the Pokemon, they got to have a back throw kill throw. Guess so. Yeah. We got basically an even game right now. Switching to Charizard to try to keep up survivability this time around. And the yeah. claws there. Giant claw. Yeah, the scratch comes in. I like to think that move is Scratch. It 
probably isn't, but mm. who knows. It's Scratch or Slash, I imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Cut. Ooh. I feel like it's Scratch, just because, you know, that's uh, what you started off with, with, like, as a Charizard. Or as a, as a Charmander, yeah. yeah. But uh, who knows? I don't know. Maybe Leaf's not that stupid to not keep oh. Scratch on the whole time. Nope, that's it. Yeah, not, not going to be able to come Charles, back. Charles, you just didn't want to be able to recover there, but it's just, couldn't be able, just couldn't do it there. Yeah. Aim now is uh, in a much better position than he was in the last game, putting Sweet Tea the last stock situation. We'll have to see. Just keeping his distance, waiting for, like, for Sweet Tea to make a move more than anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, Sweetie's kind of doing the same thing. It's like, okay, I still have the lead, so I'm gonna throw out Razor Leafs, and all of a sudden, you're you're gonna eventually be in kill percent, like, and then I'll just need one throw, and then that's it. That Bolty actually not able to kill. Mm -hmm. I'm not just throwing it out there, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah. I thought he was gonna go for another four. Yeah. Okay. There it is. <laughs> not quite yet. All right. Oh. Yep. The, the the Smash Four Charizard stretch. Get closer, closer to the ledge, though. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a game tag eventually. Yeah. Seismic it. toss. Seismic toss. And yep. yep. Too much not back. Yeah. All righty. So we see you with the game three. Yeah. Going up two one against Aim here. Aim thinking real hard about this. <laughs> <laughs> will we go back to Steam Gardens or will we go to. Oh, he's. Fei Long? I like the. I like Yo, the Guile. I like the Guile theme. That's my favorite. And Bison also good. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really good Street Fire songs. Yeah. Capcom always just pulls out bangers like for all their all their games. Go Fei Long. Mm -hmm. I respect it. I respect it. Not my first choice, personally. I know if it <laughs> right. I mean, I, I appreciate that. Guy, I think. appreciate that. Aims at least using the battlefield feature, mm -hmm. <laughs> because most of the time people just out of habit just go regular battlefield and they don't utilize like the bunch of music that we have in this game. Oh, I always appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> I always love hearing just different soundtracks in this game because you always hear just like the same seven stages mm -hmm. or like the same nine stages. Family moves like or maybe family like stages you're doing. But, yeah, like, and half of them have like the same soundtrack too. Like, yep. it's like all Pokemon and all uh, all Yoshi, the, like the, the Smash and all Yoshi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here we go. I want Lyle to be legal so he has some nice Star Fox music again. <laughs> yeah. I want Dreamland to be legal, but it's never going to happen because it's not good. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just like Kirby. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe, just, well, maybe just a little bit. I don't know. Just a bit, <laughs> yeah. maybe. I don't know. I don't, it's not like you speedrun it or anything. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, not, not at all. <laughs> I'm not, going not for a record Kirby game currently or anything. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, here we go, though. Aim with the control right now, but he's going to lose it to that. I mean, just in general. Just, oh. Oh. Alrighty. <laughs> I kind of thought it might be the right percent for that, but yeah, it looks like it was. Mm -hmm. The tip, that tip for Vine Whip is just insane. That feels so dang early. Yeah, I mean, did you see the Me Store Fighter? just teleported it off screen, like just straight up. Yeah, there's like no time to react to that at all. If you, it's like if you get hit by it, it's like all right, you're probably already dead anyway. Like you didn't probably didn't di that. So I like the Me Store Fighter pick here, especially though, just cause, just because. Just because like Sweet Tea was using a lot of resolution from neutral before, and now if we reflect on for down B, that is gonna be very. That's gonna be like very useful in this matchup. Oh mm -hmm. uh, no, standing grab not gonna be able to quite get that. He's gonna hang on, yeah, wait it out, yeah. I, I mean, every time he's using those extended hitboxes that uh, Ivysaur possesses to be able to get back to the ledge. Not quite gonna be able to trick him up with the flare blitz. Uh, that's a free kill for him. Yeah, thankfully if you shield that, it's literally free. Mhm. Mm And slowly Ooh. bringing this back. Wow! Already, yeah. We're Already back to even back. percents. Yeah. That tornado opened up so many opportunities for me sor for sword fire, especially. Mm -hmm. I love <laughs> that. that there's the just such a giant hitbox. <laughs> yeah, I Jesus. can't tell if that was a shield poke or if he just caught aim dropping shield there. But uh, regardless, it was mm -hmm. very nice. Oh, look for that bear after that. After yeah. The tech. Mm -hmm. He was waiting for it too. He was waiting for a reaction first. And that'll be it. Out. Seismic toss. Yeah, platform assist. Same as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all of a sudden, last stock situation for AIM. He's got to make something happen if he wants to try and get a shot again at Elegant. Yeah, he wants to get that run back. I know, I know he wants it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we got 
Right? Nah, never mind. Not, not gonna say anything until it, unless it actually happens. Right. Yeah. Yeah, be careful against the chakram. That chakram, mm -hmm. you might not notice, but like you saw Amir there, like throw just a little bit in front of him and just kind of stuck there. It's a very active hitbox when that happens. Right. Like, and the way you do that is you actually use a tilt. Uh, like if you're tilting like a, a, a regular move, but you do have a, a side B instead. Mm -hmm. it's, a bit, it's a bit weird, but. Yeah, it's like the same thing with uh, explosive flame. Like you use tilt versus smash. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, it's, it's interesting to see that they're utilizing more moves to have variety based on that mechanic. Mm -hmm. So. But here we go. Let's see. The neutral air comes out. Oh, and the vine whip. No oh, jump that available. Might be it. Potentially. Yeah. Oh, nope. No, never mind. <laughs> Didn't get the right hitbox. I, yeah. had to, I guess he got the one that's like really close to him. Not yeah. The, he got the not the gigantic one that always hits. Yeah, not the soft spike. Just the, the, just the regular spike. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, Down throw. percent for this. Yeah. No setups quite there. But he still Ooh. got the control. I mean, Ivy Source can still kill with like a straight up air. There's a lot of options. Oh, but maybe? Not ah, quite. Maybe not. Finds the corner, then the Charizard's out. It's like, okay, uh, let me try living just a little bit longer. And yeah, get away maybe... from those platforms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just get away or, from that. Or, or just get away in general. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, oh. All right. Sweet tea. Trying to find that grab or that back air. Well, actually, Charizard just needs to sneeze on him, and then <laughs> it's the it's the stock and it's the set. Well, let's see. That was good. Yeah, that was yep. a very nice setup. That tilt track him right on the ledge there. Very good catch for neutral catch. Mm -hmm. And then he knew he saw that he did neutral catch him, and all of a sudden just went for the dare to confirm into it, and that was a kill finally. Question is, will Sweetie go to a, a custom stage with with different music? What happened? No, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> Yo, the pilot wings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tara picked the living room. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Are we out here? Yes, let's <laughs> go. F Zero music. Let's go. Yeah. That's the stuff I like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm, I'm excited. Now, what is game going to do? Is he going to go Me Store Fighter again? Or is he going to go back to Gunner? And that will determine what Sweet Seed decides to go. Or will he mix up with the Brawler, though? Not seen that at all today from him. I feel like he won't. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I, I think Brawler's the worst out of the three. I so. definitely agree. I think yeah. Bro actually straight up got nerfed from the last game. Yeah. I'm, I'm, weird opinion, but yeah. Like, his airspeed is not that good. <laughs> Can't going, do as much with it. Going to me Gunner this time. Especially me Gunner. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it is on FD, so it's maybe trying, that's I guess trying to mix them too. up from before. Yeah. Because he wants the gun, he wants he wants the gunner, and that's uh, like before in game three, if you remember. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know if it'll work out. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean it was that that gunner game that he did lose. It wasn't that bad, so maybe maybe the change of scenery will try and help it this time. It was pretty good. We'll see what happens here, though. Oof! Yeah, withdraw gonna absorb that neutral air for free. Oh, he did the classic blue theme. I just realized he did, he did the classic big blue theme as well mm -hmm. from Melee. That's so good. Yeah. Okay. Opportunity here for Aim to get something here. He doesn't jump into it though. Didn't think maybe thought maybe he would pop out of it before uh, he would get sent upward. <sighs> Try to find something there. Not quite. And Sweet T is gonna go in for the throw. Yeah. Good position for either of these two to try and take the first stock. Oh, he gets clipped just by that forward smash. Just a bit. Yeah. Ooh. It's like he, I, I think he had the right idea. I think maybe he was trying to wave bounce back and do the side B, but that didn't quite work. Oh, my oh, spike! Oh, spiked, though. Ah, that'll do it. The rarely seen Charizard spike. <laughs> yeah. Usually it's Cybersword takes a spotlight for that one. Yeah, I mean, the rarely seen Charizard in, in general. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's necessary, though. Mm-hmm. Still getting those early bread and butters, and yeah, just gonna switch to Ivysaur. Things get rough. Try and close this back around. I haven't seen Gamer use this down B at all. I assume it's the reflector. I don't feel use it against like against Ivysaur's Rage Leaf at all, trip him up, but I guess we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no, actually, no, I just realized. I think down B is actually the, uh, the mine there. Because he has the, uh, 
the fires as a side B before. Right, yeah. I think I actually might be a down B. Mm -hmm. I, I just forgot. Oh, Ooh. almost got that. Is that the last thing you need to actually get the confirm for that one? Wow. Like, right outside the range of that force match. That was crazy. I like the mix-up from AIM on the recovery. Seismic toss. Down. Oh, back to the barrel. That'd be able to kill. Yeah. Thought it was going to be it. Just bringing it back, too. I don't think he touched the ground. So I think this is potentially... No, he's not going to quite get him off stage yet. Might not be able to do it. Just barely. <laughs> okay. A giant scratch. Bip will do it, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he just, went, he just f j double jumped into it. And, like, no question about it. That was just clean from Sweet Teeth. Good positioning all together. Looking for something right now to take his stock. Yeah. <laughs> okay, up tilt. Up tilt, dude. We got ourselves a game. It's the yeah. last stock situation here. Last stock. Last. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Game five, last stock. That's that's what you want to see, honestly, of, of most sets. Yeah. From a spectator standpoint. So you get a squirrel, though, doing a lot of work right now on the mm -hmm. stock. Right. It's scary because, like, Ivysaur is right after this, too. So, like, <laughs> if, if squirrel's doing a lot, then, yeah, here we go. He's a real heavy here. Mm -hmm. So far, the Ivysaur hasn't been touched at all. Doing a good job navigating around these projectiles and putting aim in a position where it's kind of hard for him to really do what he wants. Yeah, just really good at the positioning and baiting out what aim wants to do here. Oh, I feel like that could have been it, potentially. Just wait for the whiff punish and then potentially go for something big. Yeah, just like a forward smash. Yeah. I thought, I thought it would have been it. Mm -hmm. Like, he got stuffed out, though, thankfully. Yeah. Aim slowly. Tacking on the projectile. Oh, oh that forward smash was so committal. I don't know if he meant to do that, actually. So unfortunate. Oh, oh the neutral air. Yeah, the no neutral double air. jump. One more will do it. Nope. Oh, nice high recovery. Gets around there, but uh, a down throw. Not enough yet. Yeah. So it's a bit more. This is so scary. Uses the grenade to try and bring himself back around. Oh, and the grab comes in. But Charizard is out. Hard to kill. One Tysmic Toss, one Scratch, one anything. That's it. Yeah, there's no way Ames can surviving boom. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow.